Hello everyone, I'm Kenneth Adams, the newly appointed president of LaGuardia Community College. I start on August 17th in about six weeks. But before then, I wanted to reach out to you to introduce myself. This brief video is a first step. In the coming weeks, the LaGuardia Communications team and I will make additional videos in which I'll discuss issues that are on my mind as I go through this transition. I hope you find this useful. To me, it's the least I can do especially in our online era, to help you get to know me a little bit before I start the job. So let me begin with why I am so deeply honored to become the fourth president of LaGuardia Community College. There are basically three parts to this. First, I'm a mission-driven person, and I'm passionate about the mission of community colleges. This passion was ignited for me in my economic development work. I served as the commissioner of the New York State Department of Economic Development, the CEO of ESD, Empire State Development. And during that work, I was able to see firsthand, all across the state, the very special relationship between community colleges and local economic prosperity. I also had the privilege of meeting and working with many distinguished leaders of SUNY and CUNY colleges, among them your own Dr. Gail Mello, then president of LaGuardia. And as you all know, Gail put LaGuardia firmly on the national map, making it a flagship institution nationally recognized for its successful blend of liberal arts and transfer programs, workforce development, and adult education. There are about 1,100 public community colleges in this country, serving about 13 million students, which is almost the same number of students that attend four-year schools. And among Gail's many achievements is the reality that today LaGuardia Community College sits almost at the very top of that national list. You have a lot to be proud of. I am a, I'm a director of a public policy and research organization down in Washington called Opportunity America, and we study community colleges all across the country. I can assure you LaGuardia stands out as a very special place nationally. Number two. Here's something else I treasure, and it's something that I had heard about uh, in CUNY and working at Bronx Community College. And it's the fact that LaGuardia has a truly outstanding faculty, led by experienced and academically distinguished department chairs, and supported by thoughtful, hardworking, really talented non-instructional staff. Um, I, I've been told that you have a fantastic team, and I'm already starting to sense that. Look, we all know it. What matters most is the experience our LaGuardia students have in their classes, whether that's on Thompson Avenue or on Blackboard. And that experience is the domain, the responsibility of our instructional staff, full-time and adjunct, all ranks. What I'm trying to say is that it's an honor for me to dedicate myself to supporting the faculty and your tireless efforts to educate our students. The rest of us here, as I see it, uh, are here to support you and our LaGuardia students. Indeed, I'm keen to meet those of you who work so hard to ensure that LaGuardia students have the advising, support, technology, facilities to fully profit from their LaGuardia educations. And here's a third motivating factor for me. It has to do with the urgency of the moment, these unique times we're in. Think about it. The COVID pandemic, the economic downturn and recession and unemployment crisis that resulted from that, and a national struggle for racial and social justice that to me at least is more energized, widely supported, and powerful than anything I've seen since the civil rights struggles of the late 1960s that I experienced as a young child growing up in Brooklyn. In these most challenging times, LaGuardia has a special role to play, an obligation as I see it. The LaGuardia motto, dare to do more, is now more meaningful than ever. Our community, city, and state need us to contribute our, our energy, our experience, vitality, and abilities in meeting the challenges of recovery. And we need to dare to do more because we have the capacity and the potential to advance LaGuardia's mission and our core values to achieve the changes in society that we all deeply care about. For example, I believe LaGuardia is uniquely positioned to support New York City's recovery by training and upskilling workers who lost their jobs because of COVID and by preparing our students 
for new fields in emerging industries, new careers in a post-COVID New York City economy. I've been doing some research at Bronx Community College on that, and I look forward to sharing it with you as we explore new ways to make a difference. Before I close, let me say a few words about your interim president, Dr. Paul Arcario. And you all know this, but I want you to hear it from me. Paul has done a wonderful job leading LaGuardia since Gail's retirement. And think about it. Paul has been at LaGuardia for almost his whole career, starting 32 years ago as an ESL instructor and then serving since last August as interim president. Is there a job here Paul has not done? His service to the college is truly remarkable. Given the many roles he has undertaken in his career, few in this community can match the depth and scope of Paul's experience and his knowledge of LaGuardia. There is no one else that could have led LaGuardia so capably, so thoughtfully uh, during this interim period. And he faced a lot of challenges that he probably would admit he did not sign up for. Paul and his leadership team, together with the faculty and staff, led the college's transition to distance learning amidst the coronavirus pandemic with admirable resiliency and success. Working under Paul's leadership, the LaGuardia community met unprecedented challenges. Think about this, this was absolutely historic, never happened before. Met those challenges with energy and innovation, determination, and yes, success. And I can assure you, Paul has been, this is a personal part, but he's been extremely kind and helpful to me during this transition. And I'm grateful to him for his ongoing guidance and support. Thank you, Paul. I also want to express my thanks to the CUNY Board of Trustees, the Chancellor, and the dedicated college and community stakeholders who participated in the search process. No, I want all of you to know, please, that I am excited, grateful, and humbled by the opportunity to lead LaGuardia and to work with all of you to take on the challenges ahead of us. Thank you very much for your time and attention. I'll be back in touch with you again soon. Goodbye.